Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're taking a look at the Mars City from the Steam Workshop. It is made by our Lord and Saviour, the Community Manager, Zockley. This is the trailer you- oh sorry, no, this is not the trailer. This is the city you see in the Space Engineers trailer at the start, in the game menus and stuff like that, you see ships flying around it. And it's always just been came to know as a Mars City, because it's built on Mars and it just shows on planets and stuff like that. Built by Zockley, some of the ships are built by his friend Conrad as well, I believe. However, I'm sure Conrad will be in the comments, and Zockley might be as well, so correct me on that fact. But anyway, today we'll just be taking a look around the Mars City and some of the ships that are in this world. As always, you can download this world by following the link in the description below, but I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. First off, let's jump straight into it. We have six into the world, we've got an arrangement of fighters and vehicles here. I love the landing pad, it's like a range of stuff. I want to jump in the rover first. Let's give the rover a spin, right. I don't know why, this is an opportunity for me to play around the vehicles. Handbrake off, right. Let's do a handbrake turn. It's not a handbrake turn, Jack. Let's go down the ramp a minute then. Go on, Jack. Steady she goes. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. I just really wanted to send a vehicle down this ramp, so I've been dying to record this video. Right. And she's off. Oh dear. Steady. Yeah, that didn't really last long, did it? Now these ones, you see these ships in the trailers all the time. They're always buzzing around and stuff like that. Pretty cool ships. I actually really like them. Wait. Got spotlights on them as well, so you can fly around. And they're basically like light little interceptor ships. Quite nippy as well. I think in the space in this trade, you do see them flying between the city and stuff like that. Especially over some grass, firing the turrets. So, pretty cool. Let's come around and land on the platform again. And try not to crash it. Steady she goes. This is basically, this like review is an opportunity for me to mess around in spaces and play some ships. Which we all like doing sometimes, don't we? Oh, what's this one called? It was called the... No, Jack, go to K. The Thunderhog. Oh, there you go. Or Trike is it's called. So yeah, that's called the Thunderhog Trike then. Now, I can't remember the big ship's called, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. I think that's all the ships, isn't it? It is. They're all the same. Let's see if we can take a rover across to one of those big ships. Alright, bring her around slowly. And let's slowly navigate this bit here. Actually, first, let's take a look at the city. So let's take the rover down. And we'll see what we get to. So as you can see, this is the city here as we approach it. It looks pretty good. I somehow don't think I'm going to be able to stop this. No, nope, Jack gone straight into the window. Anyway, let's get out and have a look around. So I'm going to do a bit of a walk around on foot first, just to get a, a concept of how big the city is and that. It's kind of a small city. It's not massive. But the buildings, they do have quite a bit of scale to them. As you can see, walking around here, giant skyscrapers and stuff like that. Those are your average city buildings. Now, it's all made in vanilla as well. It's a vanilla world, meaning you could probably do a survival in this world if you wanted to. Or just play around with it. No mods are needed for this, which is always great to hear. We do love vanilla builds. Now most of the buildings are empty, I believe, so it's kind of it's kind of an opportunity for you to change them yourself if you want to. I mean, you could add floors to this, decorations, stuff like that, and create the buildings your own. So it's kind of made as a shell, and it always was made as a shell because, like I said, it's only used for the SE trailer. But anyway, if we jump into spectator mode a minute and take a look around, it is going dark, so let's just try and make it day a bit again. Okay, so have a look around. You've got the centre spire in the middle here. I don't think we actually went inside. Can we go inside this one? I don't think we can get... Oh no, this is just where the reactor's stored. Alright, so you can't actually get inside of a centre spire, but it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Just looking at the city, you see the massive spire there. And also you've got the two ships here landed on the landing pads. It's pretty... It's like a futuristic city in a way. It gives... When I think of futuristic cities, I always think of white and sort of very, like, high-tech, because white and high-tech go together quite well. You always think of that, especially it reminds me of the Halo colonies in a way, these slanted buildings, like a bit like New Mombasa from Halo Reach. But it's just what those slanted buildings remind me of. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And also, if you're an average space this player, you've always seen this in the trailers. I can't emphasize how massive you've probably seen this before. So the city's pretty hollow underneath. Obviously, you don't actually need for anything underneath. But like I said, most, nearly all the buildings are empty. I think all of them are empty, actually. This one empty as well, yeah. So I'm going to come to the conclusion all the buildings are empty, meaning it's up to you to customize them yourself in a way. Which is pretty cool if you like customising ships as that. Anyway, we're going to jump in and take a look at that ship over there. Is it called the Interceptor, the Inquisitor? I can't remember what it's called. 
Jack's going to try and get back in his rover. Can we reverse upwards? Oh dear. Oh hey. Did I knock the wheel off? No, I still got all wheels. Um, why won't it stop? Okay. Well, I've somehow broken that. But let's go and look at the ship over here. Not entirely sure how I broke that. Is there a way we can get on board the ship without having to jetpack up? I don't think there is, so I'm gonna have to go through this one. So I don't know what the ship's called, but we shall find out. I think this is power on. Where's power on these things? I was called the Challenger. I knew I remembered the name somewhere. How I could get either Inquisitor or Challenger. Alright, batteries, we got any batteries? Alright, let's walk in here. It's very bright in here, damn. I'm, lights are burning my eyes in here. So this is the Challenger, the bridge is obviously here. Got command seats and stuff like that, with time blocks set up for LCD displays. Nice, got a bit of a view out the side there for those hydrogen thrusters. Medical bay in there for respawning. Walking back through here, we have air vents, so this ship can go in space, which is cool. More of a view back here. Side windows, I like it when they include stuff like this. Jump drive and engine room compartment back here. You've got a hangar bay as well, I meaning you can probably store a small fighter in there. I think you can store the, um, the trike in there. I think. Don't quote me on it though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can store a trike in here, so if we take off in a second, which we're going to go and do now. First, we need to take a look down here. So, it's an observation deck down here. That's nice, isn't it? Right, let's get back to the helm. Is it? Oh, we didn't check it back, did we? What's up here then? Oh, so we've got more of a view over here of the engine, or sort of a jump drive room and a hangar bay. This must be the engine. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the engine room. That's pretty good. Pretty simple. Nothing too complex in there. Not bad to be honest. I mean, you don't really need overcrowded engine rooms. That just leads to more chaos. Up here, we have access to another observation deck as well as the exterior air airlock, which we'll exit out in a minute. And this also leads up to the main bridge as well. Ta da, main bridge. Right, let's get in and take off. Anyway, as to end this video out, we always like to do a crash test in these videos, so I'm going to fly the ship into the city to cause maximum chaos. I think I'm going to aim for that center of spire, to be honest. So that does look pretty cool. So let's easily get back to the bridge by breaking a window over here. Now let's go set it up. I know Zarkley and Comrade, if they're watching this at the minute, are probably thinking, Jack, why are you destroying our beloved city? But it's for the fun of it. It's for the fun of it. I don't know how fast we can accelerate. So what I'm going to do is get us an angle and aim us straight for the city. Just imagine like a city's on red alert, then you get like a server appears to be a ship about to crash into the city. Not entirely sure where it's coming from, but hey. Right, let's go. Don't know how well this is going to work or not, but hey. Or it can just bounce off. That's a new one. Um, okay. Oh, it's block damage off on this or something. That might be why. I was hoping to see a giant explosion. That sucks. Oh, block damage is off. God damn it. I was hoping to crash into the city and destroy it. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, if you liked this small little video of the Mars City, don't forget to give it a like rating. That always shows your support. And apologies, I was going to do a Halloween special video, but I really ran short of ideas. I couldn't think of anything. So that's why we're just here back for a normal SE video. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been the Fantastic Mars City by Zockley and some of the ships by his friend Conrad. Check it out on the Steam Workshop below. It's one of those iconic things that's been in the space and his trailers for quite a while now. And it's nice to see it be available to us in the workshop so we can play around with it. Goddamn Zockley for taking off block damage. <laughs> I would like to have seen that ship crash in there, but oh well. Anyway, guys, I've been Captain Jack. Just a quick update. You'll see in the end card, I now have a PO box. You can send stuff to me like drawings and letters and stuff like that. Hope to see some of you guys sending stuff soon. And yeah, as always, I've been Cam Jack, and I'll see you next time. Good day.